experienced anything like it before uh, on anywhere near as high a scale and to walk out on the first morning and I had no idea what to expect because I hadn't been able to watch anyone else race and walked out and I thought, I pictured it before walking out and I thought with the crowd, I'll, like, I'd be so nervous with all the crowd shouting and it would scare me and so I was a bit worried about walking out but when I came out I just heard the roar and it just made me smile and uh, I remember walking out and smiling and then looking up uh, both sides of the stands and it just made you feel like there was someone physically pushing you along whilst you were swimming, it was some experience. Yeah, I was really happy with the heat swim. Uh, I was uh, most worried about the heat swim because uh, normally I don't like swimming in the mornings and I find it really hard to swim fast. Um, but I got up for it and uh, swam almost half second PB in the heats, which was amazing and uh, I was totally, I was a little bit shocked as well, but totally um, just excited for the semi-final after that. Yeah, I mean, I was a lot younger than everyone else and everyone had a lot more experience than me, which, like, obviously it's an advantage to them, but I really just wanted to get in and race them and try and beat them, but I think I was just a little bit too tired from the heat swim in the morning because I had to go all out. We did a, a psychology session um, in Edinburgh and it was basically just the senior athletes who had been before were just giving advice to like on their top tip on what to expect of the Olympics and just a lot of points were put forward um, and it really did help uh, going into it, like things like um, just let your emotions happen sometimes like although it's the Olympics um, it doesn't always seem as big as you think it will be and it didn't for me to be honest when I walked out it didn't seem wow this is the Olympics, this is such a big thing so I was really glad that uh, we talked about things like that before. Yeah, um, it's huge, uh, the food hall is insanely big and it's weird seeing essentially like celebrities in there like uh, Sharon Bogle was in there a few days ago and seen you seen Bullock and Ryan Giggs and it's weird being in the same building as all these people but um, I've tried, like, I've not gone up to them and bothered them because like, I kind of think if it was me I'd, I'd uh, kind of want to focus on just getting my food and going away and resting. I mean I've seen Andy Murray uh, when he went up for food he got so many photos on the way up for this, getting his food. And then when he went to sit back down he had photos and when he had to leave he was getting photos taken. And I think, I'm not sure, I think I've heard he might have left the village probably a good thing to be honest because literally he must have spent half his time taking photos with people. <laughs> 